All right, we're going to be exporting a UV snapshot now. So all you do over here on the other side is hit A to highlight all your UVs and go to UVs. Go to Export UV Snapshot or Layout, sorry. So used to Maya. So it's UV Layout in Blender. Okay, now where to put this fantastical map? Well, I'm going to put it right smack in my work in progress directory under unit 2. I would prefer a TGA, but they do not have that, of course. A lot of times I'll underscore snap this. That way I know to get rid of it later. We're going to be using a program called GIMP. Please have it ready. Download it from GIMP.org. Um, you can get the latest build, which is 2.6. We're going to stay away from Photoshop, because I know all students do not have Photoshop. All right, there we go. Now we have a UV snapshot. What do we do with this? Well, we establish scale. So what I have here is a brick texture. And it is located under Yeah. This is a very, very high resolution brick texture. So hit convert. So you can tell it's really high because I can zoom in on it and it's very high res, which is good. This is what you want. You can always dummy down a texture, but you can never keep the texture resolution. So you, you want the highest resolution possible because we're just going to be sliding this into a 2040 by 2040 world. So you're going to actually find that it's going to reduce the texture size. Another thing I'm going to do is scale this image because it's actually 1024. So we want 2048. That might pixelate it a little bit, but that's okay because I'm not going to be using these outlines. Now, when searching Google for a brick texture, because that's what you have to do, you're going to go in here and you're going to type brick texture. And then you have to go to the advanced search because Google screwed up their interface over here. They don't have the drop down for images anymore. They used to have a larger than. Now you have to go to the advanced search and drop it down here, 8 megapixels. And what I like to do is pick a brick that's kind of like this, where it's relatively straight. In this case, this one has to be repaired just a little bit because it's, it's off skew. So you can tell the ones that are taken by people that actually know what they're doing, and then the amateurs. Now, as long as you don't sell or try to make money off of your image or texture or whatever, um, it should be fine as far as royalty free goes. This is for educational use only, so nobody really, you know, gets bothered by that stuff as long as you're not profiting from them. File, open. Oh, yeah, I already opened that. I'm going to zoom out here. Uh, zoom is control and wheel mouse. So we're going to get a little bit of GIMP in us here now. GIMP's also very annoying that the fact that it floats on different pictures. There's no tab feature. So half the time you're wondering which interface am I in? So edit copy visible. 
I'll just do the copy visible. And here I'm just going to paste that by going edit, paste. So pasting the brick texture inside the 2048. Okay, well, this is relatively way too big. If I hit this button, it'll make a new layer. But first, I want to kind of take this and um, scale it down. There's a scale tool. Let's go scale this down. And hit scale. Then go back to the move tool. I'm just going to zoom in. And you can see right here, here's a window. What I want to really do is establish scale next to the door, however. So the door is right here. Now, rel maybe three bricks could go above the door. That means I would have to scale this again. As far as scaling it uniformly, if you hold shift, it does that. I'm just trying to establish some cool bricks. So. A little bit more. This is where you really have to be kind of picky because once you once you scale it, scale is everything. I, I can't express that enough, especially when it comes to environmental textures. Okay, right there it looks good. Okay, now I have a little tiny brick texture. So what do I do with that? Well, this is what I like to do. I'm going to set it over in the corner. And then I'm going to hit this new layer button. That'll set it inside the scene. And go edit, copy, edit, paste as new layer. Now, unfortunately, it shoots it all the way to the top. And you have to keep surfing to the top. Now you see there's a shadow here inside of the brick. See how it's shadowed in this area, but it's not shadowed on this side. We're going to have to get rid of that shadow right away and make a, a nice patch of brick. What I like to do, and this is, a, this is something you're going to be using all the time. So let's make a new image. The new image is going to be uh, 256 by 256. Again, you're going to be using this all the time, so we might as well just make it. We're going to make a brush. So I'm going to go to Layer, make a new layer. I'm going to be on that new layer where it's transparent. And then in here, I'm going to use a paintbrush. Our bracket keys on the keyboard will make this bigger and smaller. What I need to do is establish a brush that has a little bit of um, kind of grit to it. So that way on the outside edge, it has some texture. The one thing about this brush, however, is um, it, it ha leaves poor resolution behind or blurred edges. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to tighten this texture up. You see how blurry these are? So what I want to do here is go filter, enhance, sharpen. Oh, and there's an, I saw it, filter, enhance, I thought there was a smart sharpen. Okay, I'm going to sharpen those all the way. Now 
I'm just checking to see if there's a smart sharpen, which is even better. See, I'm very familiar with Photoshop, but um, yeah, you guys are going to have to deal with my gimpism. I think there's a reason it's called gimp. Nope. No smart sharpen. Okay, so once I get this blob, what I want to do is go edit. Hide that layer, by the way. Edit. Copy visible. Edit. Paste as new brush. There's a dialog brush, and I, I'm going to call this chalk. Okay, so now I have this brush that I'm going to be using a lot, so I'm just going to don't save that. Spacebar. This is that texture. And what I'm going to do is kind of clip away at this texture. Using a eraser. There we go. What I'm going to do is try to get rid of that shadow. And now I have a nice patch of um, texture that I can use over and over again. And the arrow keys will allow you to scotch this around. Just like that. Edit. Copy. Edit paste as new layer. Okay, so I'm going to be tiling this over and over again, kind of moving the brick around as I go so it doesn't have a too bad of a repeated pattern. Now these are going to be really small, so you're not going to really see that pattern anyway, even if a pattern occurs. I don't like this one brick in here, this this darker colored brick. It's establishing a pattern. Make sure that, you know, things like that get taken care of right away or you're going to you're going to make a really nasty pattern and no matter what scale it is, it's going to show up. So Always paste his new layer. And I'm just going to get this one row done, and then I'm going to have to go into the next video because I'm running out of time here. And one more. Good. So with all these, what I'm going to do is go layer, merge down. What that does is combine the top layer to the bottom layer. except for the last one. Don't do the background. In the next video, let's look at this a little bit further.